Hey there everyone, Noldy I'm the boy here coming at you with a uh, Fusion World Dragon Ball Goku Black deck profile. So this is towards the end of set 2 and we're going to talk about some set 3 improvements as well so it can be relevant going into the set 3 format. But the build's going to mostly stay the same, I'll explain why as we keep going. But for those who don't know, this is Goku Black the leader. Um, this is my OR card of it. Um, it has critical on the front, so not awake inside. And, uh, permanent, your turn. This card gets 5,000 power, but you don't get the, uh, the one attacking draw. But he has a critical, he's 20k. It's pretty good. Uh, awaken when your life is 4 or less, draw one card and flip this card over. I know for the newer leaders, and they added, like, you can do this during activate main, activate battle, so you, it's very clear when you can use these. When you can awaken. So, when he awakens into the beautiful OR here, uh, he is going to have... When attacking, so he gets he regains the one attacking draw one. Well, not regain, he never had it, but. And then uh, activate main once per turn. Place one Zamasu from your battle area at the bottom of your deck during this turn. The next time you use and play a Goku Black from your hand, reduce the cost by two. So the whole point of this deck is to get that effect off so you can play the six cost Goku Black here and combo off with it. I'll explain how we kind of do that moving into the deck. But you want to awaken as soon as possible, depending on the build, depending on the matchup. <coughs> I usually try to awaken as fast as I possibly can without using the marker. Because some, if, I, if you go second, you want to keep your fancy energy marker. If you have a fancy energy marker, this is my Goku Black one. I think it's sick. So the whole point of the deck is to awaken, crit, crit a possible early game, like before you can awaken, like if you don't get the Mai. And you want to get the 6 cost Goku Black as soon as possible into your hand. Usually you want to mulligan for 1 drop to Masu or Mai when you play this deck. Because Mai is very good for the on play. We run 4 Mai's. So we're going to go into the build. Um, so Mai has the on play effect out of the 2 life cards from your deck. From your life to your hand. Not your deck. From your life to your hand. So she is able to get you down to 8 to 6. Like really, right away if you're able to get this first or second. Cause that's probably the first move I do. Like play her, get down to six, and then maybe next turn go down to five, maybe go down to four, depending on the matchup. I think against green, green and yellow, you kind of want to awaken as fast as possible. Red two maybe. I think any actually all the matchups I think probably. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Like I can't really. Green, maybe, because I think green you kind of have to wait a bit because you kind of want to crit their card so they don't plus before you awaken because you want to get the combo off before they aggro out with androids or something. But yeah, we play a 4 Zamasu next. Well, 4 this Zamasu from set 2. Uh, this Zamasu from set 2 is the base rare. Uh, if you have a Goku Black battle card, this card can't be KO'd. I don't think I think when red neg negs power to make things zero and they die, I'm pretty sure that's a game mechanic. So this this permanent doesn't really get around that. But it protects them from stuff in green. Get it, like it's weird. But uh, anyways, um, on play. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Reveal up to one Goku Black and add it to your hand. Place the rest of the bottom of your deck in random order. So this card's good for searching out the 6 cost Goku Black. Your main target for that card is to grab the 6 cost Goku Black. You want to be able to get that card as soon as you possibly can so you can combo off with it. Like the whole point of the deck is to get the 6 cost Goku Black and combo off. And get your end game going. So he's one of the targets for the bottom deck for Goku Black. And then we run forward this monster from set 1. Uh, he's a really good removal. Like, to get rid of one drops are really annoying, basically. On play, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards will cause a one or less and place it on the deck. So this card used to be the, like, the main card you want to grab against, like, Tapku. But since Tapku got hit by banning that Roshi, there's other targets. There are other one drops you want to get rid of, like Boma or other on play, like, count, like, for combo power, like, make them have less combo power. So I think that's pretty good. We front four of this Zamasu here. This is the last Zamasu in the deck, I believe. Or at least the one you can target for the fact there's a Zamasu fuse, but he doesn't count. So this card just can't be removed from the battle area by your opponent's skills. 
So in the blue mirror, he can't be bottom decked or anything. I'm pretty sure red can get around that with the neg power neg because they're not actually removing anything. They're just minusing the power until the, the game mechanic kills them. It's really good because it filters your hand when attacking. Discard one card from your hand and draw one. So he's really good for being a Zamasu target for the effect, and he can filter your hand. Because you also want to be at 7 or less for blue in general. You want to be at 7 or less just for effects to pop off for like this Trunks. Their last 2 drop in the deck. I think this card's going to leave though for set 3 for the new Critical Vegeta in set 3. There's a new Critical Vegeta that is critical and then when you play him you can add 1 life card to your hand. So he's a self awakener. So, I, so is this Trunks. But that Vegeta has crit. I don't know. I think I'm going to replace this Trunks with him. But the trunks, if you have seven or less fewer cards in your hand, it gets 10k. He becomes a 25. So I'm like, that's pretty good. He gets stronger, but the other Vegeta has critical. So I don't know. I think I'm going to try that Vegeta in this build because that Vegeta is pretty good. And him destroying the machine is hilarious. And then we run four of the three drop Vegito. He comes up occasionally. Not like every game, but he comes up occasionally. This Vegito is pretty good. Um. Permanent your turn, you have 7 or less cards in your hand, reduce the cost of battle cards in your opponent's area by 1. Then on play, choose up to 1 of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of 1 or less and place up on deck. So he's good at getting rid of like stuff that you normally can't get rid of because as long as you have 7 or less cards, their whole board gets negged 1 cost. So you're able to like get rid of 2 drops. And you have multiple out, it stacks. So you're able to remove some cards you normally wouldn't be able to get rid of. And then we run four Judge Promo Goku Blacks, three costs. Uh, on play, if you have seven or less fewer cards in hand, draw one. I think this is one of my favorite Goku Blacks in the whole deck. He looks cool. Um, he draws you a card if you play it off with the combo or if you just play him in general. It's just a solid draw one. This Beerus can come up. He, go he combos really well with Zamasu Fuse here. Um, because his effect is... When attacking, KO one of your other battle cards, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and return to its owner's hand. So you can KO your uh, Zamasu Fuse because on KO you can come back rested. And then you can KO one of your, uh, not, then you can bounce one of your opponent's cards back to their hand. Battle cards. So that's pretty good. He hasn't actually come up during my games. I might take him out for something else. I'm not sure yet. I might keep the trunks in actually and put the Vegeta in instead of that, but because I'd rather bottom deck stuff, so we'll see. We'll see. Set 3 doesn't really give much variety. The deck's going to stay mostly the same. It's just more like, how do I fit the Self Awakener? Then Sickle Gohan's going to go in be with Sickle. I take out Sickle, I'm just going to take out Sickle for uh, Sickle Gohan. Because he's just Sickle with a body, you know? Like, he can hit stuff. But anyways, for some Asu Fuse, I think that's solid. I think that's going to stay. So Samasu Fuse, uh, when attacking, if you have 7 or fewer cards in your hand, draw one. So he's pretty good just to draw cards out, if you have 7 or less. And then when KO, play this card from your drop in rest mode, then you can't play Zamasu Fuse just for the rest of the turn. So he can come out again when he dies, so when Red negs it, or if it gets KO'd randomly, he'll come out, rest it, and then he can't come back again though for the rest of the turn. So I like that. I like that he can come back, because that was real, real clutch against Beerus. So my locals had only four players. Um, I avoided the yellow matchup, and I fought two Beeruses, and I won both games. <coughs> it's pretty good. Then three Goku Blacks from set two. It's a four cost. I want to attack him. You have seven or fewer cards in your hand. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost two or less, and bomb deck it. So the card combos off well with the Vegito too. If you want to get rid of something that's normally you can't touch. So bottom decking is the best part about blue. Being able to bomb deck cards, it's very, uh, unfortunately, it's very Sakazuki from One Piece. Well, not very, it's it's similar play style, but like, we'll see, set three doesn't really give anything to Goku Black at the moment, but like the exclusive archetype support, but like we get some good generic blue, like the Sickle Gohan, the Critical Vegeta that smashes the machine, etc. And then the MVP of the deck, the strongest card in deck, uh, the one that makes the deck, like, worth playing is this Goku Black Sick Cost. You have to get this as soon as you possibly can. You have to get this in your hand. Like, as soon as you possibly can. Because on play, when you play it out, so when you do this... So basically, you need a Zamasu out, so let's say this is out. 
and then this effect is all like, oh, I'm gonna bottom deck it. So it goes bottom deck, you know. And then he becomes a 4 cost. Then you can play it out for 4. So it's really good. Um, but if you play against yellow and they have that 6 cost freeze out, it's gonna come out rested for the ruling because it's a 4 cost to play, but it's a 6 cost when it comes out. I think that's what the ruling is. The client confirms it when I tried it. He'll come out rested, so that sucks if that happens because he can't untap. And that's annoying. But yeah, yellow is like the hardest matchup for Goku Black. Well, green probably is harder, but yellow like distinctively stops the combo. Like Goku Black, uh, when attacking with some or fewer cards in your hand, play up to one battle card will cost four or less from your hand. So he can uh, combo off with like being able to play like this Goku Black, uh, he can play the Zamasu, he can play the Beerus, he can play uh, Goku Black, uh, he can play Vegito, he can play so many good stuff. I usually play out, what's the card I usually like to play out? It's either Zamasu Fuse or this Goku Black just a draw card. Usually I like spamming those bodies. I like this Goku Black a lot because it's better than the vanilla Goku Black because they're both 30k but at least this has an ability that's somewhat useful and even if it doesn't come up at least it's nice to know I have the option. And then Vegito's nice sometimes because then I can bottom deck potentially something. This card's just nice to draw a card because you're already at 7 or less because you're already doing the effect of that. So it's pretty good. So I like being- so the whole point of deck is to play this out, swing, place more bodies. Hopefully the it sticks and then you can do it again next turn if it sticks. They're gonna try to remove this as fast as they possibly can. Especially red because they're just gonna neg the power and try to swing over it. You gotta combo out or something, like you gotta really combo out. I use I usually use the super combos. Like the whole point of deck is to do that, and then if you do that and you're winning, that's awesome. I wish I had room for double strikers, like the Vegeta. I did run him at first, but I don't know. I have to see what changes in set 3, what's going on with the current meta, and then we'll kind of respond around that. And then we'll play uh, 4 Videl, Judge Promos. I want to get the full art, but the Judge Promos were cheaper, so I bought those instead. Uh, she's just a super combo, for those who don't know. Um, can only have four of these in the deck. Auto components turn. When you use this card in the combo from your hand, this card gets 10k combo, so it's a 20k instead of the normal 10k. Just an extra shield. It's like worse PG and Vanguard, but you know, that's how it is. This is where I'm gonna arrange some stuff. So we got we were on three sickles. So we call we call Gohan Sickle Gohan because he's basically this card, but it's different. Like the Gohan's a four cost, and you can only bottom deck three or less costs, but that's okay. That's usually what you want to. That's usually the magic number you want to do because green plays green three costs mainly to spam out, so it's good. But yeah, so three costs activate main and choose up to two opponents' battle cards with cost four or less. Play some of the bottom deck. The Gohan's a four cost and he bottom decks three or less. So this card's good. It was good for the first two sets. I think it's still good technically, but I rather run Sickle Gohan because he's a body. He's a battle card. He's zero combo power, so it's basically the same as having this in my hand dead. But at least I can play it, and it's 30k. He's strong. So, yeah. I think I'm taking out Time Ring. I think I'm gonna put in Lightning instead, since I'm putting in the Gohan instead of this. I think I can run Lightning instead. Lightning seems like the better option. Time Ring was good though. Uh, look at the th top three cards from the top of your deck and place them on the top or bottom in any order and draw one card. It helps to filter out and get the Goku Black faster. That's how I used it. It's a one cost. You can do it real early. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to replace this with Lightning. Absolute Lightning. Absolute Lightning can like bottom deck any card, I think. Something like that, but it's really good. I think I'm going to replace this with Lightning, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, the set three main cards, I'm gonna definitely gonna include the Sickle Gohan. I'm gonna put Sickle Gohan instead of Sinister Sickle. Um, I think I'm gonna try the Critical Vegeta that destroys the machine because he's a Stealth Awakener instead of the Trunks. And then I'm gonna run Lightning instead of that, like from set two. I should have been running Lightning anyway, but I wanted to try Time Ring because some builds were trying Time Ring. It came up, it was dope. 
That's all to say about it. But yeah, that's my deck build for Goku Black, the Beerus Slayer. Um, it's real. It's a really good deck, honestly. I think it's solid. Like my build for set two overall, like it did well at the last locals. That's all I know. I won. I didn't lose anybody, so you know, best of one. There's only the three of us, but you know, still, 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 I beat both of them. <laughs> one of them was M Fargalarga, for those who don't know who I play universes with. You know how he's always playing like Toga or. What else does he play? Toga. He plays Godzilla a lot recently. You'll see coming up. Um, what else does he love? But anyways, I beat his Beerus deck and... Yeah. I'm very excited to see what set 3 brings. Um, I'm gonna continue on with Goku Black. Uh, Vegeta. I'm gonna try Halo Ku. Uh, Goku... You know, Goku Leader set 3. I'm gonna try him out, the blue one. I think he's good. I just wish he was Satan Leader. But, like, exclusively, like, Mr. Saiyan, Hercule, or Great Saiyan Man, or Vidal, even. You know, it's whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, that is my deck profile. Thank you all so much for watching. It was a pleasure explaining the deck and Fusion World to you again. I wanted to get this one out before Set 3 came out, just to talk about my time during Set 2. Um, there will be more content, hopefully, for Set 3, because that's when I feel like that's going to be my true entry into the game. Especially since my LGS is starting Fusion World late. So that's why the content's kind of been dry. I haven't really been playing the client either because I can only play Vegeta and I want to play test Goku Black. I don't have enough Goku Blacks in the client. I only have one SR Goku Black in the client and it's regular. I don't know. Seems cheap to me. <laughs> but uh, thank you all so much again. I'll see y'all next time. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what set three brings for Fusion World. All right, no DM double is logging off. Thanks again.